Hey guys, today I just want to show you how to model a uh, holding cell scene. Um, it's a holding cell, it's not really a prison cell just because. Uh, why is my mouse doing that? You see that? It's flickering. Alright, it's not a holding cell because it doesn't have a sink or any of the basic accommodations, it just has a cot and a window. Alright, so now we're just going to start. I trust that you guys can model a three wall room by yourselves. Alright, so now I'm just going to right click on my cube and I'm going to hit scale manipulator mode, hit 7, and just scale that to be a cot. Alright, I'm going to hit 1 so I can scale it on Z axes. Alright, so now I'm going to go back into trans translation manipulator mode. I, I, I forgot what that's called. Translator transformer. That's it. Transformer manipulator mode. Alright, so there we have our cot. Now I'm going to show you how to do my uh, chain. Alright, whoops. Alright, so now I'm just click out to the side, 7 for top view, and just add a torus. Shift back to scale manipulator mode. And let's just elongate that to look more like a chain. Let's see how thin that is. Alright, it's a thin chain. Alright, let's go back to 7, hit Shift D along the Y axis. Go to 1, hit R, rotate 90 degrees, uh, zoom in there, and just grab that along the Y until they look flush. Right click on both of them, join, and shade smooth. There we go, let's hit 7. And now let's scale that down to chain, right? We don't want it to be too big. Let's add a modifier, an array modifier. Let's hit 0 on the X, 0 on the X. And one on the Y, that way they stack on top of each other. But now see they're not linked, so that's what we're going to do right now. And constant offs, hit negative one. That should be a good enough link. Alright, so now that we have that, let's add the count to 15. We might need more than that, I don't know. So let's hit 7, let's rotate that 90 degrees. So now let's go back to translator mode. And let's just uh, take that with to our... Whoa, two hour scene. You just want to position it just to be kind of in position. I hit five for ortho view because now we're going to rotate it and that's going to take it out of whack. All right, so now that we have that, let's rotate it. And now let's go back and position it. You shouldn't hit the Y, it should still be the same. It should just uh, affect the Z and the X positioning. Never mind. Let's hit seven. Hold on a second. Oh, now we have to go back because the way it rotated it, it rotated it. Let's hit one. Um, how do I say it? Uh, skewed. All right, so let's rotate that again while in the one view. So I just hit rotate and. 90. That's kind of big. Alright, so I just rotated it and just like that by man, by hand, not with a number. Now let's hit 7. Let's zoom in there. It needs more of a more of a uh, incline. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, let's hit 1. Scale it down. The only bad thing about these 3D views is that they really skew your perspective. You'll think that you're doing, you're like cl clicking your mouse cursor like right in the middle and it turns out you're way off on one way or another. Alright. That wasn't much of an incline. Let's do that again. That's way too much of an incline. So yeah, just play around with it, see what you get. <sighs> okay. And it always skews it on the Y. That's weird. Shouldn't do that. 
It's because it's still. Oh, okay, I get, I get it. But this should be fine. All right, it's just a little more on the Z. All right, that's good. Let's hit seven and shift to D on the Y, so we can just move that over to that side. And there we have our prison bed. All right, yeah. All right, so now I just want to click on this, right click on this back wall. And I'm going to tab into edit mode, subdivide it twice. All right, and hit A to deselect, alt right click on this edge on this edge and just grab that up make sure you hit Z so that you don't distort distort it too much and just same on this bottom one grab Z GZ this is going to be our window grab X and alt grab X just like that. Alright, so now let's go to face select mode, right click on this face, 7, and extrude that outwards. That's going to be our window. Go to X and delete that face. So now we are left the hollow hole. And so now we want to add a cylinder. So now I'm just going to grab that cylinder along the Z axis so I can bring it up to my perspective. And where'd it go? Of course, it's right there. That's where our 3D cursor was last, which is why it's right there. Alright, so now I'm just going to hit 7 so I can just position it. That's good. I'm going to hit 1, and I'm going to hit the scale manipulator button. And I'm going to manipulate it to look more like a prison bar. Shocking, right? Okay. Alright, so now let's hit 1. Let's grab that along the X, C, X, C, which is someone. And let's just keep doing that until we get it into position. Looks a bit fat, so I'm just going to thin that out. Let's hit 7. That's good. Alright, so now, crud, I did it again. Alright, just right click, A to D select, uh, Let's go into vertice select mode. Right click on a vertice, hit Control L, hit P by selection. So now this bar is its own entity. It's not in any way connected to the wall, which is what we need for the array modifier that we're going to add. Add modifier array. Where is it? Constant off, put point 0.1 or 1 or what could you be? There it is. Hit 0 for the first one, 1 for the second one. Of course, I forgot to tell you that. 0 for the first one and 1 for the second one. It's not 1, it's point 0.1. Alright, so let's scroll back in here and let's just increase that count. There we go, now we have our bar. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit A to deselect. And now I just want to add the light. I'm going to hit right click it and hit cursor to select it. Alright, so now I'm going to add a lamp and it's going to be a spot. So now I'm going to go back to that mode, that mode, rotate that towards the cell. Just like that. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... My camera's way off. Well, let's see. Let's grab my camera. And while in grab mode, we can scale out. Zoom out, should I say. There we go. Now let's render that. That looks pretty good. Uh, what we need to do is just scale the chains down a little. But otherwise, it looks really good. Um, just fiddle with it. See what you like best about it. Grab that. Zoom in a little. There we go. And just see what you like. Um, 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or tips, please comment below.